Hey, what's up, guys? Can you feel it coming in the air tonight? It's the live-action Avatar The Last Airbender remake, baby! Now, I know that there's a lot of speculation right now that this new Avatar is not going to live up to the name, and I, I think part of that is because of uh, a forgotten live-action remake that we choose to sweep under the rug for obvious reasons. I mean, Ong, Opa, Yipe Yipe, it, 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 it was bad. Now something about me is that I'm about to be 25 years old and I have rewatched Avatar at, at least once a year since it's come out. And in every single reviewing, something else pops out at me. A new lesson is coming off of the page. A new idea spurs from something that a character said. And I think it's something where it's interesting that this show not only grew with this audience, but has stayed a constant in so many of our lives. I mean, I'm constantly talking to friends and we talk about Avatar. All these little things that are so enmeshed in who I am today come from a show that came out 12 years ago. Check, uh, because apparently I'm older than I thought. It came out 20 years ago. And I don't want to go into the viewing with that resentment in the back of my head for what has happened in the past, but one thing that I do keep coming back to is this is a chance to give a new generation a story of a lifetime. You know, a little personal testimony is actually with Grace. When I first met her, she had never seen the show. She thought it was just for kids. She thought it was, you know, X, Y, or Z preconceived notion. And I started watching it with her and very quickly she finished the entire show on her own because she found something specific to her that she latched onto, something that I hadn't even seen in all my viewings. And that was something that was really cool, something that was really powerful. And, slight bonus, now I get to rewatch it with her every single time. But you guys know that I get super jazzed about the idea of passion, about the idea of storytelling, and to be completely honest, Avatar is the mecca of storytelling in my head. See, it's pure. It, its intentions are nothing more than to teach us, hey, Violence, hate, and anger, not the way of the game. Love, connection, friendship, that's what we forge in our life. You know, and there's so many messages weaved in there of enemies becoming friends or, or heroes becoming villains, that it, it has everything thrown into the same pot and it's, it's so wonderful. So I know that this, this passion that I'm putting through here, this excitement can't be shared by only me. And if it is, I need you guys on my train right now because we gotta we gotta go choo choo getting into it. I also have this thing where, and Grace makes jokes, uh, I'm toxically positive to a fault sometimes where I uh, I will look for the greenest grass in the middle of the desert and tell you that I'll be able to find it. But one thing is for sure that when I'm looking at an opportunity here where I have something so special to me that's from my childhood, from my brain, from my origin that's about to be reopened. I'm gonna choose to look at that as exciting and not as, why are you touching that? Don't touch that! Because again, it goes back to just how many people out there are now gonna have an opportunity to watch what I think is one of the most beautiful stories ever told. Because there's a lot of people who didn't want to watch the animated version. Again, it's for kids, it's not. And now they have the opportunity to be like, okay, live action, show me what Avatar is all about. And baby, buckle up because you're in for a crazy ride. And I hope my excitement is translating through more on the excitement side than the nervous side because I, again, I am such a big fan of the show. I have, I have a lion turtle tattooed halfway down the side of me. I actually, you know what? I, I, yeah, yeah. I have the search. And if anybody's watching this and knows what this is, you're my friend. We're gonna talk about it now. And if you don't, well. I think you guys might just need to watch a little Avatar then. And I know this rant has no direction, it's starting no direction, we're going in no direction, but I I wanna show you one more cool thing that I have. <laughs> All right, cool, what's up guys? I just, I wanted to show you something that I actually have hanging up in my house. It's this amazing Avatar tapestry that actually maps out <laughs> the Aang Gang's journey. There they are right there. So obviously I am stoked to say the least about this new show and have some reservations that I will keep to myself, but I think as a as a community of fans for the show, we should be in for a for a fun treat. The treat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye guys, take it easy.